Sheikh Abbas is having an uh, assistant from Egypt. And he also gives ghusl. Sheikh Abbas is there for the last 30 years. And this brother who's given ghusl, he was there for 20 years. And after this incident, he resigned and within a week he traveled back. But what happened? They got a body, the dead body came in. And the body was there in the, frid, in the freezer for four days. Four days. They got the body. Now, of course, before, before bringing the body, there was a lot, a lot of other things like, you know, the paperwork was not uh, well and, and something was getting delayed and something was like, you know, go do this, bring this paper, do this paper. But anyways, when the body arrived, now, this Egyptian brother who's giving ghusl to the body, I told you even before that there is something that every mughassil do to the body is putting his fist and his arm to the chest and to the t stomach, right? And press it slightly. Why? So whatever is inside the body, it comes out from the waist, you know, from the private part. So now Sheikh exactly is saying, normally he, he put the body on the wall like this, you know, on the wall like this. And the body is, uh, yes, in an angle. And then they press the body slowly, slowly. So whatever it is, it comes from the private part. Now before putting the body, when they got the body from, from the ambulance to there, his, the body's hand was you know, uh, in, in, uh, wrapped like this. So when, and of course the body is there for last, last eight, uh, last four days. When he opened that thing, uh, string from his hand, the hand, the one hand fell down, like came down on the, on the maqsala, where they give the ghusl. So this Egyptian brother, he didn't pay attention. He said, okay, maybe because, you know, from the freezer, now he got enough heat in the car or something. So maybe his muscles got uh, a little soft. So the hand fell down. So he didn't pay attention to it. This is not usual, you know, for, for a dead body. And then he put the body, as I told you, on the maqsala. And uh, according to the rules and, and condition, that the water shouldn't be very cold and it shouldn't be very hot. It should be in the middle. Because uh, the Prophet Sallallahu says, كَسَرْ عِظَامِ الْمَيِّتِ breaking the bone of a dead person as breaking his bone if he's alive means that he feels so you have to treat him as he's alive you know you, you cannot just you know even when you turn the body left and right you turn him in a, in a, in a you know soft way in a nice way gentle way so they put the body like this the, the brother put the body like this and he start again pressing the body slowly slowly the body automatically become straight the body was on the, on the, on the you, know, uh, you know, let's say there was something that the body was there. The body becomes straight. And he looked at him and he says, I am hungry. At that moment, the Mughassil, the Egyptian brother, he left everything and he just ran out. He opened the door without any uh, slippers, without anything. And he just ran, ran, ran all the way to the street. He got in the car and he ran. So the brothers outside, the children outside, what happened? What, what is going on? They went inside. Said, okay, they couldn't get the mughassil now. Let's see what's going inside. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is a true story. True story. The person was laying down like slant. He becomes straight. While he's st still on the maqsala, he looked at him and he says, I'm hungry. Ana ju'an. The person, that's what I'm telling you, this is, this is a different story now. And this person ran away. The children came maybe, un, inside. Maybe, sorry, maybe he wasn't that. <laughs> the person came inside, the, the, the children came inside, and they found the father is wrapped up with a kafan, and he is yelling at the children. The father is yelling at the children. He said, you this and you that, you this, you that. Wallahi, tomorrow I'm going to the court and I'm disowning all of you. I'm disowning you, all of you. And before, and before that, go bring some food for me because I'm hungry. Because this man, he was freezed for four days. And before that, he was, I don't know, treated how, Allahu A'lam how, in the hospital. And all the way, when he got some little bit of water on himself, he got up and he looked at the Mughassal and he just the first thing told him, Ana Ju'an.
I am hungry. And the Mukhasir ran away, and of course, this, is, this was written in the, in the newspaper of, of uh, Saudi Arabia, by the way. It was written uh, everywhere. The doctor was fired. The doctor was fired. And uh, it was a big chaos going on that, you know, who said about this person that he's dead? Something happened to him. He just fell unconscious. They took him to the hospital. He's dead. He's not. But subhanAllah, look, Allah gave him life that subhanAllah, after being four days in the freezer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, made him still, you know, to make it. And he, he swore, he swore, he said, I will disown you. You didn't even wait until I proper die. So you can take my property, you can take my money. You know, you're, you're so in a hurry that, you know, you just want me to, to get buried. So you, you take my money and you take my, uh, you take my uh, property. So this was uh, the real story, but the story didn't finish here. Now, they said, let's go and check with the doctor. They checked with the doctor. The doctor said, Wallahi, you know, I, I, I can see that he is dead. He says, How he is dead? He's a alive person. Say, they, they fired the doctor. This is who else knows about this? They said, Well, only the Mughassil, that Egyptian brother, we can go to him and we can ask him what exactly happened. So they went to Sheikh Abbas. The Sheikh, Sheikh, who gave ghusl to this, this person? So he took the file. He said, The Mughassil is so and so, the Egyptian brother. He says, uh, I'll go and call him. He went and he called uh, the Mughassil, the Egyptian brother. So the Egyptian brother said to the Abbas, tell them I'm not here. <laughs> like tell them I'm not here. I don't want to meet these people. No, no, I don't want to meet these people. So he said, okay, fine. So the Sheikh went. And the Sheikh said, well, the brother doesn't want to meet you. He didn't say that he's not here, but he's, the brother doesn't want to meet you. Sheikh, wallahi, Sheikh, we will not leave until we check with this brother what exactly happened. How our father, you know, uh, start, you know, again, uh, uh, gaining back his, his own, uh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, any uh, life or, or talking. So they said, okay, wait for some time, then I will call him. So he waited for 10 minutes, so the brother will feel that these people left. Then he called him, ya fulan, come, I want to talk to you. So when he came to the door and he saw the people, he says like, you know, why you called me? These people are still there, you know. He says, come, 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 Yishay, come, talk to these people. So this brother said in, in Egyptian, in an Egyptian accent, that wallahi, if your father died hundred times, I will not gonna give him ghusl. <laughs> if the abuk mat meet marra, wallahi mishaksilu. <laughs> if your father will die hundred times, I'm not gonna, you know, give him ghusl. I'm not gonna talk to you. I'm not gonna talk to, you know, whatsoever. And, and literally this brother, in, in, within a week, as I said, this Egyptian brother, he, he resigned and he left because he couldn't take this, this uh, imagine this situation, yani. Uh, that the person is, is looking at him and he's and no the Egyptian brother was saying like you know he's looking at me and he says I'm hungry where you want me to bring the food for you you know from where you want me to bring the food for you you know you just imagine the dead person is looking at you and he says Anajuan, I'm hungry uh, well, how can I deal with it so he said I'm not gonna talk to you then later on the father he says I want to go and meet this person you know so after a few days they called Sheikh Abbas. Sheikh Abbas says, you know what? You go and get, get into his room and you talk to this Egyptian brother. So he was cutting the kafan and making the string. So he was inside. So the, when the people came, the father and the children, so the Sheikh Abbas said, go there, there. That, that room, you know, just go there. So the brother went inside. Now this is the, the dead, the one who was dead, right? He went at the back and he says, Salaamu Alaikum. And he looked at him and he says, you again? You don't, you don't die or what? Like, you know, you still want to eat me? You're still hungry? So the, the brother says, see, I'm just coming here to know what exactly happened. He says, nothing happened. I was giving you ghusl and you just came back to your senses and you start talking to me. So this is one of the stories that Sheikh Abbas said that this is one time only happened with us that when we gave ghusl to a dead person, we was thinking he's a dead person. He was alive and he was hungry because he was four days kept into, into the fridge. So uh, that's, that's the story, and subhanAllah, but imagine, yani beside, beside the, the thing and the, the, the funny thing that in the story, imagine a person is in the fridge for four days, or the freezer for four days, subhanAllah, yani how that is possible, and how a person can, can still uh, succeed that, that period, subhanAllah, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and of course, as I said, this is from Sheikh. <laughs> the Sheikh is mentioned. The Mughassal is still Sheikh Abbas, rahimahullah, he's died. But the Mughassal, the Egyptian Mughassal, he's, he's alive and he's still there. So this is the story that I just took it from him. And I said, let me just uh, tell you, the brothers tell you. 
and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for all of us.